In this video I will show you how to set up stream labels for OBS Studio for recent follower, top donator, follow trains, etc. What's up everyone, Yelly here with the Video Nerd and welcome to the OBS Studio Master Course. Today we will be setting up a bunch of labels using the Stream Labels program and let's just download it right now. So go to your browser and go to streamlabs.com. Then log in with your Twitch account. Then on the left you can click on all widgets and right here we see Stream Labels. So let's just click on it and here we can download it for windows or for mac os so let's just click on windows to download the program and i will get back to you when it's installed okay the installation is finished and we have to log in so let's just click on connect with twitch then fill in the details and i will see you after okay so we are logged in and now we have to choose our output directory and this is very important because this is what stream labels is all about so let's click on it and then choose a directory now in this directory we will create a bunch of files for example recent follower uh, top donator etc and each of those files represent a label so it will be a folder with like 100 text files in it so choose a good location for you i usually save it in my c drive and then i make a new map and i call it stream labels okay just click on select map and then here we are on the home screen of the stream labels application now before setting anything up i will show you the folder which we just created so i will go to my c drive and then to the stream labels which is right here and you see this is a folder with a bunch of text files now if you just search for follow then you see every label about followers and right here we have most recent follower and let's double click it you could already see a preview but right here you see it's just a text file with my most recent follower inside of it now every time that one of these labels is changing this text file right here will be updated and the new recent follower will appear in the text file. Then OBS Studio is reading those text files so it will also change on OBS Studio. I will show you an example of that so go to the stream labels application and then click on the settings. Then we get another window and right here on top you can choose the label which you want to set up. So let's go to the recent follower right here most recent follower let's click on it and then right here we have the options so for now the message template is just the name and we could see that in the text file because this name between parentheses will output the name of the most recent follower but let's say you want to add recent follow like this okay so then you can save it and just leave these settings by waiting till the pop-up disappears and then clicking on the X right here and then here you can click on this icon to reload the stream labels session and then maybe immediately this most recent follower text file will be changed but it's not so you will have to wait some time so let's close the window and reopen the file and when we reopen it we see that it did update according to our settings so right now how do we use this in obs studio well let's go to obs studio right here i have a clean scene with one game capture so let's say we want to add recent follow right here on top we can now click on the plus icon and then choose text right here okay let's call it recent follow click on okay and then we get this option screen but instead of adding text ourselves right here we will enable read from file so we click on that okay then we can choose a file right here so let's click on browse then go to the folder to which you save the stream labels and then just search for recent follow so let's type follow okay most recent follower let's double click it now the file gets imported and right here we see our text so now we can change the text you can change the font right here you will probably know how to do this the color the background color opacity basic settings let's click on okay and then right here you see 
it is in our screen and our recent follower is added and right now when i get a new follower this will become recent follow and then the name of the next follower. And there are a lot of options with this. When you go to stream labels and 2D settings, you can add a follow train, etc. When we go back to the files, let's type follow and then search for the follow train. So, okay, right here, follow train clock. You see, by default, it's zero. And when I would get a new follower, it would start a countdown and that would count to zero again unless I got a new follower and then it would automatically be reset. And the amount of time that this switches to once we get a follower can also be adjusted in the stream labels program. So right here, let's click on the drop down and then you have to search for trains and combos. So right here, follow strain. Let's click on that. And here we have a bunch of settings and they are changing settings for a few of the text files all at once. So right here, show clock, always show zero when inactive. You can hide the clock when inactive. But right here you see timer duration. So right now it's 300 seconds, which is five minutes. So when I get a new follower, the clock will start ticking down from five minutes and you can change the amount of time right here of course there are too many options to go over all of them if you have questions on any of these settings etc just ask them in the comments or join our discord server from the tvn community and then you can ask questions right there if you want more guides about streaming content creation promoting yourself etc make sure you click the subscribe button because this channel will be just a perfect resource for you thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video have a good day